Okay, everyone, let's go. This gets more complicated every year. It's more complicated every year. Thank you. Are you ready, missus? Yes, no. Come on, no, no, this way, this way, this way. Car's ready for you. What? So I'm going to Baby Valley, and I'm bringing Alessia, and I'm bringing this little fella, because I think it's time for him to start um, trying out uh, some uh, classes and stuff to do. Isn't that right, mister? Yeah. Now that everyone else has gone to school, he needs things to do. Isn't that right, buddy? You haven't got your mates to entertain you all day long. Yeah, you scooch over to your side. Jump into your seat. Okay. Oh, yeah, thank you. I'm going to bring him. This might be a terrible idea. He might just, he might just run around the place and I won't be able to control him at all. But, sure, why not? Sure, why not? That's daddy's seat. Okay, hop in. Hop in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get the little man in here. Get the little man in here. Yeah. Get a little hand I in here. In my oh, thanks, Lassie. I appreciate that. Dolly. 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 Dolly had a dolly who's sick, sick, sick. Yeah. Oh. Pool. I'm going to pool. School? Pool. Pool? Yeah. Is pool like school, except it's wet? Yeah. I'm, I'm too scared. Yeah, what are you scared of what? Um, you, know, you just close your eyes, remember? If you're scared oh. in the car, you just close your eyes, remember? Oh. I need to get crazy in the car. I'm not getting scared. No, you don't get scared when you close your eyes. Yeah, see my would tell me. I would close my eyes. Okay. Not all McDonald's. <laughs> We're not going to all McDonald's. I'm too scared. Twinkled little star, how I wonder what you are. I feel so lucky some way that like I get Alessia and Andrea because I get to kind of like I know Alessi because I get to almost like relive that whole like part of my life again you know when I had Eduardo and Amelia in like 20 what 2014 15 and 16 and I feel like 20 um, 18, 19, and 20, or maybe 20, well, maybe 20, what a year is it? <laughs> maybe 2019, 2020, 2021 will be that same period because I've got the two babies again, the other two are off in school, so they're not around, so I feel like I'm, I'm getting to like relive that again, like I feel so lucky and privileged that I get an opportunity to have a second, I wouldn't say second chance, but a second go, like, a, you know what I mean, like most times, most you usually get one go, but I'm, I, I'm lucky enough that I'm getting another go, you know? Third time lucky. <laughs> another batch. <laughs> but like, I don't know, I just think it's cool. Like, I'm just really enjoying this. Uh, the two of them laugh, they were walking away to each other. And it's just like Eduardo and Emilia footage from uh, 14, 15. And that's how it definitely felt with Emilia and Eduardo. I was like, I don't know if I want that to be over yet. You know, and I'm so happy that we did that because if we didn't have Alessia and Andrea, I'd feel like, I don't know, I'd, 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 there'd be an ingling, there'd be a niggling. I'd feel like a little bit incomplete, but I feel like, yeah, I get another go. Just give me another go at raising a baby and a toddler and doing all the baby ballet and the classes and all the kind of like fun that goes along with that, you know? So I'm feeling very satisfied and complete right now. All right, missus, let's go. Let's go up the stairs. You ready, buddy? <laughs> it's okay. Come on. It's okay. All the way up. We can make it. <laughs> Are you gonna put a go back to bed, Mister? Oh, you gonna put? You gonna put your go back? Oh, you bringing that mat back for me?
Oh, and I see we gotta break. Shh. From Baby Ballet to the M25. <laughs> We're heading into London town. Look at Anna, she's got leather pants on, she's got high boots. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm straight from the ballet class. I just got my ballets on. Hello. I was kind of, because we, we had to get a train, so I, I got back to the house and I was like, ah! So you just jumped the kids, grabbed Anna, went down here, and I was like, oh my goodness, am I dressed correctly? Am I dressed okay? Look at all these apples. So funny the amount of comments and we should definitely go and um, check the frame to see if we actually see. Yeah, I know I did November 2nd, 2nd, <laughs> okay, leave me alone, I'm dyslexic. I make good videos though, I'm not, I'm not a writer or a speller. <laughs> well, those people who say that you are stuck up, posh and so on, they need to watch this vlog. Ah, oh, thanks Katie. Uh, I love seeing your old place, you feel comfortable really far. I remember my flapping is gone. Thanks. This is brilliant, thank you. Different, but I like this. I like this vlog. It's no more sweet memories. I love the entertaining. I know was in her house for and all the organizing, cleaning. Yeah, that's how it began. It started there. Which we are doing on in the house. <coughs> Why is Anna sound so different? Could, it was a different camera. That camera used to make Anna sound like she had a lisp. No, oh, oh, sorry, Nicole. I'll, I'll try and do better. How did you know you lived in area all these years? Hey, fire coming on. No, it's mental. Mental. Boating video. Boating video. I don't understand. Or boarding hat. Sorry, Nicole. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, better go. Uh, so, what can we do, the OB? I mean, <laughs> lol. The sounds of the underground. It's been a while since I've said that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look how hot you look on that couch. Well, I think it's because you got leather trousers on, flu shirt, you're like a woman of business. BBC London. <laughs> what? I came here. That's why I had my hair up. Oh, I love Anna wearing her hair up. So I convince her. I mean, yes. <laughs> it looks so good. Go on, put it up again there for a second. No, well, I'm gonna go back in time. <laughs> I know. It's really hot in here. <laughs> it's okay. Now you're making me uncomfortable. Go <laughs> <laughs> we're at the BBC London. Right, we're here with, with Joe, who won't oh, stop, who won't stop talking. I was waiting for a moment to vlog, but she won't stop talking. So we're just gonna have to just go with it. This is gonna be coming out uh, tomorrow. So this comes out on Wednesday. If they missed it, how do they watch it? If they Listen watch, to it. They can go to BBC Sounds. BBC Sounds. And also, don't forget, Jonathan's on my podcast, Dogs in the City, with uh, a couple of his dogs, the media-friendly dogs. And I'll, I'll edit that part out, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Getting in there. It's a good podcast. I it is a good podcast. All well, the dogs made it. Yeah. Anna should have been doing all the voices in the background. <laughs> well, thanks for having us on. Oh no, we loved. It. Everyone's come in from the newsroom. So many fans. Closet fan. <laughs> okay, the hair has gone up. Aprons on. Um, we'll ignore the fact that I'm actually wearing leather trousers underneath. I look so like not baking mode-ish. That's totally not a real sentence, but we'll just roll with it. So I am making Amelia's birthday cake. I'm so excited, although I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know how this is gonna go. Um, the mixture is here. I've just done that part. I've got the oven on. Dinner is already ready for this evening. We're having a favorite of ours, which is, um, well, you can't see anything. Panko breadcrumb salmon, courgettes, and then I've got some potatoes that I'm gonna boil as well. So um, this cake is a Nutella cake. Uh, in fact, I'm just realizing I didn't put any Nutella in this cake. <laughs> I think it's actually in the icing. Let us see, yeah, it's in the icing. Okay, so I got the recipe from lifeloveandsugar.com and this is the recipe. So I am going to grease some or um, prep some tins. I think I'm gonna do three layers. It says to do four, but I don't think I have four. Um, I think I have three though. So, no, I've got two. Have I? 
Okay, we're just gonna do two. So pray for me that this actually works out because I have no idea. Jonathan's at, he's picked up the kids today. He's also at dance, turns out, I mean, yeah, a total oversight on my part. I'm sorry, Jonathan, if you're watching this. I do apologize. I had 25 things, oh, sorry about that, uh, going on in my head today, and I just forgot that she has, well, I didn't even know she had dance today because it's the new term. I didn't know what the dates were or what the days were. I didn't have that written in the diary. I have everything else written in but that, so, oops. <laughs> I am so glad that I got most of, if not, I think all of my wrapping. No, I need to wrap one more thing. I got most of it done yesterday because I would not have had time today. Uh, let me get a pen. Tomorrow for breakfast, Amelia wants unicorn toast. But I think we're gonna move it to the weekend because we usually for breakfast, uh, and we've done this as a tradition in my family for years. We usually have birthday cake for breakfast, or at least the kids do, like the birthday child does, and obviously all their siblings. Um, that's just how we roll. Admittedly, my mom didn't used to make as rich cakes as I probably do. I probably don't, like, well, this one is pretty rich, but my mom made like, ugh. see, I don't really like cakes that are too chocolate. I'm not a massive chocolate fan. People always, people always want to pick me up on. They're always like, oh, you say you're not a chocolate fan, but you eat chocolate. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I can eat chocolate and not be a massive chocolate fan. My thing is like, I don't like chocolate flavored things. So I'll happily eat like a Reese's um, peanut butter cup, which obviously has chocolate in it. But if I'm getting a donut or something, I would never get a chocolate flavored donut. So you know what I mean? Like chocolate wouldn't be my first thing. I prefer like biscuits, cakes, like creamy things. Oh yeah, so my mom used to make this amazing cake and it was not chocolate, uh, not chocolatey cake. It was like a, just a basic, I don't want to say basic because it wasn't basic. It was like a lemon, kind of like a sponge cake, but I feel like that's just not doing it any justice. Like it was the most amazing. It was like almondy, lemony, like just so yum. And that is my favorite like go-to birthday cake. But my kids, just love chocolate. They're obsessed with chocolate. So I have always made them like a richer cake. Um, so we used to have that cake in the morning for breakfast and that's probably less of like an indulgent treat to what my kids get, but it's a tradition. And so Amelia wants to un the unicorn toast, but I think we're gonna do that on the weekend instead and have birthday cake tomorrow. Okay, so the cakes are about to go in the oven. The temperature is only 150, which is actually quite low but we're gonna go with it oh and it's dripping a little bit okay let's quickly get these in these need to bake for 25 minutes set a timer for 25 minutes all right 25 minutes starting now Lessie, is that nice are you gonna share some with andrea can you get, oh, good girl. Oh, that's nice. So nice, look, Albie wants some too, but don't give it to Anna. Oh, is that yummy? It's real Nutella. He wants some. Yeah, but doggies can't have that. Oh gosh, look at his mouth. <laughs> Cause it's, it's dangerous for doggies. Only Andrea and Leslie can have that, okay? I've just been to school. I am actually, I'm a form captain. Form captain. <laughs> there, a form captain. Cause yeah, let's pick up form captain. See, can you see it? <laughs> and, <laughs> and, Today we are going to be. I'm sorry if I'm upside down. <laughs> We're going to be learning that. Bye.
crazy. Presenting Amelia's seventh birthday cake. Okay, so do you want to see how much icing is left? Whoa. Look at that thing. Look, dare you to taste the icing? No way. Why? Oh, uh, Anna, how is, there so, how is there so much left? Can you not? Like, that was an accent. Because, well, that you were supposed to make a chocolate ganache as well with like whipped cream. As well as this? Yeah, or whipping cream, sorry. How thick was the icing and supposed to be? Semi sweet chocolate chips. I'm like, it's too much. It's too rich. Like, it's a lovely this idea. This is insane. Look how much is exactly. left. Exactly, so I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and call can it. You, can you make something else though with all the leftovers? I guess I can freeze it, but. But can you, like, is it mousse? Taste it. I'm it's afraid. Nutella icing. And what? Icing sugar. Nutella. And? That's it. <laughs> You're such a liar. You know what was in that? In the breadcrumbs. Butter. Well, look what you've done. You've just killed your husband. Just try it. What? No way, Jose. Try, no, on your finger, just to try it. Like, no, 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 no. A tiny little finger is going to make you sick. No, I know this will be amazing. Just try but it. I know it won't agree with me. You're gonna eat like a packet of M&M's there anyway, so... Uh, there's no butter in M&M's. Yes, there is. <laughs> I checked the label. <laughs> Did you? Oh, I said go check. Oh, I feel like we need to do something Just with it. Just taste it. A tiny bit on your finger is not gonna kill you. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> that is amazing. Do you want me to save it then? Mmm. <laughs> That is heavenly. Just give me a spoon. Where am I putting this? Okay. I don't know. Oh, I can almost, I can already feel, I can already feel my body rejecting it. Hmm? I can, I can feel the rejection. No, you can't. <laughs> oh my goodness, it looks so good though. You're such a good baker. You should make a baking book. <laughs> um, I yep. really don't know what to do with this. Oh, here. Okay guys, it is super late. It's way past my bedtime. It's currently 8.40. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. It's not way past my bedtime, but this is generally when I'm in bed. Um, I usually am asleep by nine. So we're, we're coming down to like, we're cutting it fine here, okay? Because I need to be in bed in about five minutes. You can tell probably from my face. Okay, this lighting is not flattering. You can probably tell from my face, I am exhausted around this time. But um, I just had some last minute bits. I had one more present to wrap. But this is the setup for tomorrow morning for Amelia. Look at these presents, looks amazing. <laughs> and then I've got the candles ready here for the cake, which is in the fridge. It's gonna go there. And I've got her card up here there's her card actually please that's cute okay she's asleep um and then the cake is in here oh my god it smells amazing like so so good oh that water filter needs to be filled I'm gonna ask Jonathan to do it, I'm too tired. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is everything ready for the I'm so excited, I can't wait. I can't believe my baby is only seven. It's craziness. Um, but she is so excited and I'm so excited for her. I think it may have gone overboard with those presents though. There's a lot. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And Tomorrow, I will have, officially have, a seven-year-old. How crazy is that? Night-night, guys. And that's it. It's Amelia's birthday today. Dropped her to school this morning. She had a fantastic morning. Let's not uh, give you guys any spoilers, but if you are watching this at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, the 11th of September, how do you do? Um, just to let you know that uh, tonight at 10 p.m. Well, you, you've been with us for um, two days. Yeah. So I think your opinion now, you know, we could we could very easily put on a show on Friday. 
you know what I mean? I think you'd start to see cracks if there was. No, it's certainly less staged than I thought it was going to be. I'm glad you see that, you know. But it's, having said that, it's still not something you would I do. totally understand or... It's understandable because I didn't understand I it. I didn't, I didn't commit to doing it either because I just started making videos about my life and my life evolved into what it is today with four children, six dogs in our home and our life. On W Channel, which is part of the UK TV um, stations, it's a digital channel, I don't know the numbers, but if you just Google it and check it out, you have to be in the UK as far as I know, because it's probably on Sky or Virgin or BT or Now TV or, but there's a documentary tonight where Stacey Dooley, um, who, if you know Stacey Dooley, she's uh, like a, a journalist. She did mainly those investigative journalists. She came and investigated us. She came and lived with us for 72 hours with her whole film crew. And uh, they filmed the whole thing and they turned it into a documentary and that's actually airing tonight on TV at 10 p.m. here in the UK. I don't know after it airs tonight, will it be available online somewhere, digitally, I'm not really sure. There's a couple of, I've seen five minutes of it, they tweeted like a few minutes of it and then this morning they tweeted another few minutes of it. So I've seen a few minutes of it, it looks okay. Eek. I don't know. Um, I don't know what she was saying because I like I saw her, but then she'd go up to her room every night, and obviously with her film crew, she would sit down and talk about um, what what it was like to live with us, you know. So she might say like, "Oh yeah, it's great, thanks guys," and go up to her room and be like, "This is a nightmare. Get me out of here. <laughs> I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here." Um, she actually was on the dancing show. And it, oh, so I'll kick it off. I'll kick it off. Um, so yeah, check that out if you're in the UK tonight, um, it's on 10 o'clock, uh, you might be able to watch it and repeat or something like that. Um, yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, so tomorrow will be the birthday vlog, the birthday vlog, um, it's myself and Anna's uh, seven year anniversary of becoming parents. Congratulations, you know. <laughs> See, the thing, Amelia thinks it's all about her, it's actually be about me and Anna becoming parents for the first time seven years ago. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Give the likes, give the comments, subscribe, ring the bell. Ooh, and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Together we're stronger.